Hello everyone. So in this video, we'll see how we implement dependency injection in controllers. So for th for that, we should have one exp uh, experimental module or the custom module where we can do all these experiments. So I have one in, uh, available with me called as Drupal X. I have defined uh, its routing.yml file. I have defined its uh, controller class. Uh, so I would not be talking much or in deep about these specific files or what is what is the role of these files because this is as this is broadly into dependency injection. Uh, else video <laughs> would be long. Then so I would see what my controller is doing. If from the code I can see my controller is printing a message called as hello world from the name uh, of the current user accessing this path. So I'll go to this path and if I have already enabled this module and it is showing me this hello world from admin. Now, um, the, uh, the problem here is that it is tightly coupled because uh, in future if this in future um, uh, if anything cha gets changed or this, this function gets removed or uh, we would have to um, do modifications in our logic in this um, in this uh, class so um, also uh, Drupal uh, as Drupal uh, in Drupal it is uh, 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 advised to use dependency injections instead of directly calling the services so we are calling this current user service so I'll go and use this service uh, use this uh, current uh, current user service through dependency injections uh, injection not uh, by calling this method directly so what i would do for this as i've already described in the previous videos i have to use uh, two function functions one is um, the create function and the constructor i'll copy this from here because uh, this would save my time uh, and I'm using this example uh, controller uh, from Drupal.org so in this video I would be copying uh, I would I'm defining one constructor function and another is the create function in the constructor I am defining uh, the de dependency of my uh, class as this account interface object and account and uh, I'm passing this account object uh, account interface object uh, through this create factory method and here I'm defining the service I would be using for for uh, instantiating this account object um, I'll save it uh, one more thing uh, since I'm using these two classes and I have not defined, have not used, have not defined it in the use statements, I'll copy things from here. One more uh, good thing about Drupal uh, is that if I will, if if I would have um, refreshed the page by without using these two use statements, I would see that uh, my class would be would be showing a fatal error that my class is expecting account interface um, uh, and container interface and it has not been uh, used here so uh, from there I could use the exact namespace I could copy the exact namespace so Here I am defining the class property as protected because I believe we, sh we should define all our properties as protected and uh, define setter and getter methods if we want to set or get uh, those properties. refresh it 
see if see if I'm getting no. I'll, I'll clear the cache. Okay. Nothing has happened. I mean, I'm not getting any error, any error, which is a great news. Um, now I'll see. I'm still using the Drupal. Uh, this static method called as current user which is using ultimately using this service so uh, to replace what i have done here is i will be using this this object here so instead of this i would not define my current object here and See, see. Aha. So now I'm accessing my dependency I and mean, my this service with the help of dependency injection. One more thing in the controllers, uh, I do not have to. Um, uh, I do not have to define uh, so in controller when I'm extending this class called as controller base this controller base class implements um, a container interface which ultimately uh, define uh, uh, declare this create method so that is why uh, we are we are defining uh, this uh, definition of create method or we are supplying what dependencies we want uh, in our uh, we, we are creating the object of what dependencies we want for this Drupal X controller thank you everyone